Hey there, good morning. It's time to rise and receive. Happy Tuesday. I'm Sonia Miller. I got my lemon water. I hope you are getting your tea, your coffee, your morning brew, and getting ready to settle down for your 10 minute morning send off, because that's what we do here at Rise and Receive. And if you are somebody who struggles at all with attention, with the need for attention, with wanting to receive attention, today we're going to be talking about that very thing, not just how to receive attention and what that struggle is about, but how important it is to your capacity to receive what you most want. So um, I hope you're coming and settling in and um, getting comfortable. And while, um, good morning, Sherry, (laughs) while uh, we are letting people get here, arrive at Facebook Live, I thought one of the things I might offer this morning is for those of you who really don't know why I do this or what this is about, I invite you to go to either receiveclass.com or receivecourse.com And you can read about all kinds of really inspiring success stories from students who have been learning how to un, actually, unlearning struggle and learning how to receive with greater and greater ease. Because um, truly, what we're doing here is unlearning the hard work ethic, which comes from an over reliance of pretty much what all we've ever learned uh, about regarding what's necessary to receive unlearning that, the over-reliance on that, and then opening up to receiving, which is the most natural thing in the world. So thanks for being here. It's great to see all of you. And what I do every day is I pull one card from my new Receive card deck. There goes a light. (laughs) And, um, And then I read to you this receiving principle that Um, can open up your awareness on how to receive with greater ease. So today, the card is receive attention. Excuse me. Receive attention. So sit back, let these words wash over you. I'm going to read you what's on the card, and then we're going to unpack it a little bit more. The need for loving attention is essential to your well-being on all levels physically, emotionally, psychologically, and beyond. If loving attention were to have a voice, it would say, I see you. When we receive loving attention, our entire beings feel better. Have you ever wondered why? A baby needs loving attention as a matter of survival and healthy development. Science tells us of the many ways that this is so. As adults, loving attention is imbued with power, meaning, and energy that directly nurtures our sense of natural worthiness. And yet, we struggle when we do not nurture this need. We struggle internally, and we struggle to receive what we most want. As you meet the need for loving attention from yourself, when you need it, as you need it, Your consciousness embodies the message, I am worthy of asking for and receiving attention when I need it, as I need it. And because your consciousness creates your reality, life itself rises up to meet you and provides manifestations of you receiving fulfillment when you need it, as you need it. Do you need attention? Do you give yourself permission to have this need? While it's instinct to seek attention from others, the fulfillment of this need begins in your relationship with yourself. Your mind, body, and emotions will let you know when you have this need, usually in the form of discomfort. When in doubt, simply ask yourself, do you need attention? This question itself is a simple act of loving attention. It's telling you, I see you, I feel you. If your being answers yes to the question, then ask, what else do you need? Listen, be curious. Even if you don't know how to meet your need at the moment, your willingness to respond in a nurturing way invites the kindness of life in expected and unexpected ways. So that is the card 
on receiving attention. Come back and re-listen to it. For some of you, it might be just what you needed to rehear because you already knew this, but you needed to reconnect with it. And for some of you, there might be some new concepts. So with this, I'd like to give you a willingness mantra that you can take with you into your day and know that as you say it over and over again, each time you connect with, oh, maybe I need some attention. Or just for the fun of it, even if you don't know if you need attention, just to try it on for size, um, practice this willingness mantra and and just pay attention to what you become aware of because awareness is the first level of receiving. Okay, first you receive awareness and then you can receive things shifting in your inner world and also in your outer world. And it's not a linear thing, but simply the willingness invites and, and everything expands from there. So here's your mantra. I am willing to receive loving attention in expected and unexpected ways. I am willing to receive loving attention in expected and unexpected ways. So I hope you are enjoying this idea for today. And something I wanted to unpack to kind of build on this, if this is like, yeah, this is, I, I really want to learn more about this is, as you open up to a willingness to receive attention in expected and unexpected ways, really kind of put on your detective cap. Be in observation mode and look and listen for the ways that you do receive loving attention. You might start to connect with things that were always here, but you couldn't see because you weren't validating or acknowledging this need. So you can receive loving attention from a pet, you can receive loving attention from a platonic encounter in a grocery store, just a smile and eye contact. You can go into nature and feel a loving attention from the trees and the wind and the river. Um, there's so many ways that you can start to connect with how it already exists in your life. And here's the thing, as you connect with where it already exists and you receive and experience that fully and give thanks for it, it will be blessed and multiply, okay? So that was one piece I wanted to unpack. And here's another thing that came to me this morning as I was preparing. So one of the things I talk about here is that receiving with greater ease is about learning how it is that we over rely on a masculine model of power, which is based in the hard work ethic, because masculine energy, a masculine lens values productivity and performance and action. And the feminine values presence. Okay, so something to know about all of these wonderful results that people experience and start receiving into their lives is the feminine is messy. It just is. <laughs> and it's kind of one of those things that both makes people uncomfortable, but when they really accept it, they're like, oh, good. It was supposed to be messy. I can relax. The masculine doesn't like messy so much because the masculine is linear and makes a plan and has a strategy. And when unexpected things happen, like you cut the wood too short and you got to start over again, or you have the wrong tool and it makes it difficult. If it gets messy, it's actually very frustrating for the masculine model of power. But the feminine is by nature messy. Childbirth is messy. Agriculture is messy. Mother Earth, that's all feminine. And so we have a saying at the Success for the Soul campus, which is miracles happen in the messy. When you become aware that, oh, that's just the nature of the experience, you start to see how messy actually allows you to receive more and better than you could ever expect because what you know is not messy, I know it. But what you don't know, and when life gives you unexpected things, it might be a little bit messy, but you can get more and better out of it. So I just wanted to plant that seed. I hope that this has been helpful today. Uh, please come back for more. I'll be here tomorrow morning for Rise and Receive on Wednesday. Check out the links, um, free resources, the YouTube channel is another way to connect with these messages. And uh, please post below what stands out for, me, for you from this receiving attention. What stands out? Share your comments, share your questions. I'd love to hear. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Bye everybody.